Kanye West is in the news. I want to talk about him. He had an interview with Tucker Carlson. Okay. And uh, it's something that we should probably be checking out. Welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Kanye West, now known as Ye, is one of the best the best-selling musical artists in the world. He's also in recent years become a celebrated and very highly paid fashion designer. And of course, for a decade, he was well known to TV audiences as an in-law of the Kardashian family. But it's West's latest incarnation as a kind of Christian evangelist that brought us to his office in Los Angeles today for the interview you're about to see. Days ago, during Fashion Week in Paris, West, accompanied by his friend Candace Owens, unveiled a T-shirt that read simply, White Lives Matter. Mm. The response from the fashion industry and international media was instantaneous and uniform. Shock, horror, rage. There is no excuse for this, thundered the New York Times. West is legitimizing extremism, shrieked Rolling Stone, etc., etc. What was strikingly missing from the coverage, however, was any explanation for why West did this. What was the T-shirt about? No one seemed to think to ask him, much less to listen to what he had to say. Instead, the enemies of his ideas dismissed West, as they have for years, as mentally ill. Too crazy to take seriously. Look away. Ignore him. He's a mental patient. There's nothing to see here. But is West crazy? You can judge for yourself as you watch what we're about to show you. He has his own ideas. We can say that. Creative people tend to. That's why they're artists, not actuaries. Fuck. His freeform social media posts give the impression of a man channeling his rawest emotions right onto Instagram. The effect can be jarring and is often used as ammunition against him in the battle for influence over the minds of America's young people. And that battle is intense. But crazy? That was not our conclusion. In fact, we've rarely heard a man speak so honestly and so movingly about what he believes. But again, you can judge for yourself. Here it is. So you just came from Paris Fashion Week, you just landed, and you have a lanyard still on from it, and there's a photograph on it. What is that? It's a photograph of a baby's ultrasound. Why is that? And that you designed that? Yes. Why? What does that mean? Uh, it just represents life. I'm pro-life. Boy, so you wear it on a badge. What, what kind of response do you get? And, and good, amen. I agree. I don't care about people's responses. I care about the fact that there's more black babies being aborted than born in New York City at this point. That 50% of black death in America is abortion. So... Is that true? Are more black babies being aborted than there is black babies being born? Mm. Holy shoot. I don't know if that's... I don't think that's true. We could look that up though. That's heavy. Shocking. I really don't care about people's responses. I perform for an audience of one, and that's God. Come on, stop the cat. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Facts. <laughs> I perform for an audience. Who are you selling audience. tickets to? Who, you, who, who are you selling the shoes? Tickets? Who are you selling? Buying the tickets? Why you got a social media? Facts. Turn all right from show my nigga. Turn your social media off. No more concerts. What you selling clothes for? You're a billionaire. You Walk away. Do the Lord's work. You don't need to give stay, back. You don't need give to, me some of that. Give you don't back need to the, the people. Stable center to perform for audience of one. Why you gotta? What's the rest of us hundred thousand doing in the audience? Help out the people that are really in need of yeah. God's work. Listen, this is about to be the most unbiased discussion you ever seen. Welcome to Jody's Corner, where we keep that shit a hundred. Ain't no left or right. We're not Democrats, Republic. We keep it a middle. We're in the well. I'm independent. I'm in the middle. I'm only go from this from the left or from the middle to the left or the right wherever I swing. You know what I mean? Let's keep going. I'm starting to see why they want to make you be quiet. Um, how? When did you start to feel this way? When did you start to realize this? I I really felt like I think I started to really feel this need to express myself on another level when Trump was running for office and I liked him yes. and every single person in Hollywood from my ex-wife to my mother-in-law to my manager at that time to Chris Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, let's put the names out there. His ex-wife Kim Kardashian and Chris Jenner, I'm sorry. Jenner. She's not a card Jenner, right? Unless they got divorced, they get divorced. Oh, no. They, 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 they she, together, together. Yeah, yeah, she lost her husband, uh, Chris Jenner. Yeah. Right. You know, my, my so-called friends slash handlers around me told me, like, if I said that I like Trump, that my career would be over, that my life would be over, 
uh, they said stuff like people get killed for wearing a hat like that. They threatened my life. They put my life. They basically said that I would be killed like uh, Jesse Peterson for right uh, wearing the hat. I had a, a, someone call me last night and said anybody wearing a White Lives Matter shirt is going to be greenlit, and that means that they're going to beat them up if they wear it. And I'm like, you know, okay, green light me then. <laughs> you know, you know, God builds warriors in a different. Did you feel that uncomfortable moment when he said green light me? Mm -hmm. Does he look like he is being controlled? That's what Does he come off like he is scared? One more time. I just want y'all to look at that. He comes off to me like he's scared. Like he's saying and doing stuff you don't want to do. They're going to beat him up if they wear it. And I'm like, you know, okay, green light me then. <laughs> you know, you know, God builds warriors in a different way. I don't know if it's because of me being a born in Atlanta and growing up on the south side of Chicago that, you know, he made me for such a, such a time like this. It's like with David, you know, he tended to the sheep, but while he was out there, he had to fight all kinds of animals. So when it was time for Goliath to come, he thought because he was a sheep herder that he didn't have the skill set to take down Goliath. And the thing that I have is the position, I have my heart, but the number one thing is we have God on our side. And for the people, even if you don't believe in God, God believes in you. So you made reference to the White Lives Matter t-shirt mm -hmm. which you brought out at Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. Why, why did you do that and what did it mean? You know, I did. I do certain things from a feeling. I like, I just, I just channel the energy. It just feels right. It's using a gut instinct, a connection with God, and just brilliance. You know, like as if you ask like Tanya Harding, how she did the the triple flip or the triple spin. Yeah. She was in so much practice that when it was time for her to skate in a, in a comp, in kind of competitive format, it just happened. Like it happened outside of practice, it happened in the real format. And that's, what hap that's what's happening is God is like preparing us for the real, for the real battles. And we are, we are in a battle with the media. Like the majority of the media has a, a godless agenda and the jokes in that work and this whole like, oh yeah, he's crazy and all these things, they don't work because the media has, you know, they've also watched travesties happen, just even specifically. Does Ye not, his, first of all, his name is Ye, and Kanye West, now he's Ye, and now not only are you Ye, but do you not have mental health issues, Ye? Did you not seek help? Did you not... Take medicine, take drugs. Did you Does not, he not admit uh, it? Medicated? Goes to the doctors come and throw this fool in the mental hospital when he start talking? Facts. Does he not have, I believe they said bipolar. Does he not suffer from bipolar disorder? Hasn't, I think I heard him say he suffers from bipolar disorder. That kind of makes a point. I believe I heard him say that. So I'm not saying that being, well, I was educated about, you know, certain bipolar people don't like to be called crazy. Schizophrenia is more like crazy, but. You have um, a medical condition, a, a mental medical condition, which, you know, a lot of people would say, combined with the fact that you change your name and do all these things, act this way, lash out, a lot of people would call you crazy. A lot of people would call that And you're not taking your crazy. meds. They would think you're not taking your meds because you're, you're, not, in, you're not on your game. You know what I'm saying? You're losing right. your mind. Um, some people who uh, are bipolar are very angry. Some of them don't, are, are very... Uh, Distorient, what's the word I'm looking for? They, they, they lost. They, they mentally lost on a lot of different things. Um, they, they don't know what's, what's right from wrong. You know what I mean? They can't see what's going on. But when they take their medicine and take their drugs, they see, they know what's happening, what's going on, what's right, what's this, what I'm supposed to do, how I'm supposed to do it, how I'm supposed to work, how I'm supposed to do this. And you can tell this the way this man has been acting, the way this man has been doing things, he's off his meds. You know what I'm saying? He's, I mean, he's been admitted multiple times. Like to me. And just watch it and act like it wasn't happening. And they stay quiet about it. Um, what if they? So, what if? They what, was, I want to answer the the white. Yeah. I, I feel like someone caught what I was saying. The comparison to Tanya Harden about the the White Lives Matter. You know, my dad is an educated um, ex Black Panther, and 
he put a text to me today. He said, white lives matter, ha, 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 ha. And I said, I thought the shirt was a funny shirt. I thought the idea of me wearing it was funny. And I said, Dad, what do you think it was funny? He said, just, just a black man stating the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> and... His father, an ex-Black Panther, sent him a text, Why Lives Matter, ha, ha, ha. He said, it's a joke. Do you think that's funny, huh? A black man stating the obvious. His father, an ex-Black Panther, is saying that his son, a black man, was wearing a shirt that states the obvious. And that's something that probably you would agree to, Sad. We had a discussion about White Lives Matter versus Black Lives Matter, and it's like you have a problem with people saying White Lives Matter because it's obvious White Lives Matter. That's why we have to say black lives matter because it's already like by default innately white lives mattering. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was a uh, reaction because of, you know, people felt like their lives didn't matter. And also uh, since the black lives matter movement started, white lives matter is a neo-Nazi group. Word. That have the same shirts, so oh. so he's also promoting a neo-Nazi group that he might not even be aware of. But yeah, there that's, are there is a movement. Then. There is a movement called White Lives Matter, and it's owned by modern-day Nazis. Damn. You know, my dad doesn't listen to rap music, and he's like super educated. We we open up a water distribution center in the Dominican Republic together. He's like the original Steve Jobs, but he was getting blocked every which way with all of his ideas. And he didn't have uh, an endless bank account and he didn't have an Instagram. So all these ideas, he had to like take them back and compress them. Like my dad is the most brilliant person that I know. And we actually have a strained relationship because I was taken from him because my mom was an actress, so she was a liberal. And my dad would see certain things and say, you know, we should do it this way, we should do it that way. And the people got around my mom. So you can't be a, a Republican actress? Or that's not that's not common? That's not that don't that don't ma that don't match up. What? Arnold Schwarzenegger is a Republican. It's a lot of Republican and Democrats. I would, actresses I would think that Hollywood's uh, maybe Hollywood's uh, I think Hollywood's more democratic, they're more liberal, but he's Okay, so he kind of lies a little bit. He lived in a certain city, and his mom was offered a job in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So the dad had the option to remain in Chicago, and he went with his mother to Chicago because she offered a job. So when he says he was taken from his dad, it was because his mom got a good-ass job at a university that his dad didn't work at. His dad refused to move, so they only lived states apart. It wasn't like he was kidnapped or taken. So he blames the system for breaking up his family because his mom got a job that she that's applied tough. for. That's tough. That's very misleading. If true, that's misleading. It's very nuts. So it shows that there's maybe some agendas here at play. And pulled her away, much like, you know, Kim is a Christian, but she has people who want her to go to Interview Magazine and put her ass out while she's a 40-something-year-old multi-billionaire with four... Yeah, all right, my nigga. <laughs> what? That's what happens when you marry a hoe. That's what happens when you marry a hoe. You put a baby in a hoe, put a baby in another hoe, and had a whole bunch of kids. You chose the Kardashian life. You chose to get a chick that was Chris Humphreys, Reggie Bush a million times, Ray J, Bow Wow, The Game. Everybody done had a piece. I hit it first. And you went and followed all that. You got with her, my nigga. So, yes, when you do whore things and you sell your body and do porn to get famous off of it, when you get famous off of porn and, you know, on purpose like Kim did with her mama, yeah, sure, you should probably not look for anybody to take you seriously or respect you as a being of society because, you know, for obvious reasons, you got fame and rich by sucking cock and drinking cum. Porn stars are some of the lowest of the low when it comes to how people treat them. Ray J. I believe that all people should be treated fairly, but let's keep it a buck. Somebody who did something in their past and they want to change their life and turn their life around, I'm for that. 
But Kim is very much still an agent of chaos, what Bubba would say. <laughs> She's definitely a big seed in why all these women out here are chasing bags and the wrong things and fake booties and fake looks and all that sexuality and shit, sexualizing and exploiting her children. She's still a big prominent part of why our society's garbage. So no, Kim Kardashian doesn't get that treatment from me. I don't care how many black men she gets off from prison. <laughs> Ray J is also a Christian. I don't know if you know that. I went, my friend makes music for Little Kim. Little Kim was dating Ray J. At the same time, Ray J was coming, was dating Whitney Houston. Around the time he was doing songs about Kim. And Ray J is one of the few men I've met that was like, nice to meet you. God bless you. Like, I've never, like, I'll pray for Jody, but I'm not, I've never met somebody on the street like, yo, all right, cool, nice to meet you, man. God bless you. Yeah. Not at a party, at his house, in his living room. He's sitting around in basketball shorts and socks. Don't eat the Klondike bars in the refrigerator. They for Kim, little Kim, not this Kim. He <laughs> dating both Kims, but Dang. neither wanted Whitney. Didn't care about neither one of them. I, when, when I hit it first, or did he have another song before that? Around that time of that song, Ray J was like, "God bless you, brother." You know what I mean? That's tight, bro. But Whitney was also a uh, Whitney was also a Christian. That doesn't like she was heavy in. We talking about Houston? Yeah, she was yeah, heavily like, she was brought in the up gospel. in the church. Yeah. yeah so yeah, like, yeah. what are you what are you saying? You're not making no sense. Uh, 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 my idea of what a Christian is is a Christian would abstain from being on TV talking about things that would. Divide people. And Ray period. J's suicidal right now, too, Jody. I hopefully you He is? What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I sent it to you in the text. Ray oh, J shoot. said, Ray J was on a bridge. I sent it to you. Did you see it? No. He said, I'm on. If it wasn't for my kids, I would jump off right now. Three nights ago, Ray J did a post with suicidal crypto, cryptic oh, thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, the yeah, hashtag right pray for Ray J is moving right now because he feel like Kim and and, and 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 Chris have done him dirty. They make him look like he leaked the tape when she had him sign some paperwork. And he said that Kim was signed part of it for him because he was taking too long to sign it. Like this was a, de de a definite thing. He feels like he wants his kids to know that it wasn't his idea to put the right. sex tape out there. Right. And wow. he's suffering right now. Pray for Ray Day is a real thing. Any wow. of y'all heard about it? I yeah, saw it. Chad I said he's it. going through it. I That's crazy, it, yeah. bro. Black God children. Man. And this is what, how fashion wants to, uh, how they want to present her. So I know you give these, um, you get these questions, and I give you like these three-part answers. Is this a cool format for you? Yeah, I love okay, it. Follow? Okay, cool. An I idiot wearing them boots, right. bro. So you said um, that your father said when he saw the shirt "White Lives Matter," it's great to see a black man stating the obvious. So, by which I think you meant, that's obviously true. Yeah, that my favorite response because I kept on thinking like, you know, people they're looking for an explanation, and people say, well, as an artist, you don't have to give an explanation, but as a leader, you do. Yes, I think that's right. So the answer to why I wrote "White Lives Matter" on a shirt is because they do. It's the obvious thing. Yeah. Why? Why do you think that's? Come on, my nigga. That is a very trolly, dissatisfying lie of an answer. I, I put it on my shirt and wore it with Candace Owens. Holding hands. Because they do. Yeah. <laughs> they do matter. I can respect a man who believes that black people shouldn't exist on this planet and stands by it. Versus a man who's wishy-washy, doesn't stand on even ground and can't look you in the face, will tell you one thing one moment and tell another person another the next. I don't respect this shit. You lost my respect in that moment right there, bro. You a hoe for that shit. If you got something that you want to say, say it. If you believe a certain way, say it. You wore White Lives Matter in opposite colors, choreographed with Candace Owens. At your Yeezy season premiere, just because they do? Oh, shoot, well, for sure. If we just doing that, yes. then wear a, a humans have blood t shirt. Yeah. Uh, I breathe air. I have a brain. I have Get a the life. Free couple, yeah. You're insulting my intelligence, bro. You trash for that. You know what, yay? 
I'm done with you, bro. I've been kind of done, but then I'm learning. Then I hear things about him that kind of bring me back, and I'm sympathetic because of the Kardashians. He wants out. He say he wants out. Now I'm thinking you only want out of the Kardashians because you're identifying yourself as just a Republican, and the Kardashians are Democrats, and he explained and and described them as Democrats, not as who they are and why they suck and why they're bad. You basically called them liberals. You're And I said, politics corrupt everybody, bro. Even families. You're beaving with Kim and them because they were Democrats, aren't you? I think that you're more upset. I think they would probably still be married on photo shoots if they was all Republican. I'm Ain't that a bitch? I'm they Democrats. What they type of shit is that? Same way if they were all Democrats. If they were all Democrats, they'd still be together. And have a, That's some... <laughs> this world is effed up. Sad, what do you think, man? Um, it's this so is a hard. game. I love his music. I love his sneakers. It's so hard to be a Kanye. Donda fan. was trash. Facts. Oh, that last album. That, that shit was, was weak. Garbage. That was the most. Now he's Donda dead. and Drake put out bad albums. Let me give us your hundred. Drake up? was better so than his. Man, number cheese was both trash. I paid for it and deleted half the songs on there. Man. I could have deleted all of them. I won't miss any songs. And I, and and it's a shame because I think he thinks he's in the Bible. I think he thinks he's reliving some new pages. The, the Leviticus, or I don't know the name of the new chapter or whatever. That's why I feel like he changed his name to Ye, because Ye is all through the Bible, so he want to keep that in there. And, like, I just don't understand, man. And he doesn't look, and guess what? With all this religion that he claims to have found since he got 802 or whatever happened to him, he still does not seem happy. This man don't seem happy. i seen a comedian... I think it was Capone said, damn, this nigga wore boots all summer and now he's wearing flip flops all winter. What the hell is wrong with Kanye? Hopefully, Anybody with a beard like that is bugging. In today's, they got clippers. I know he can afford a pair. His beard is bugging. He's bugging. Hopefully I didn't lose you guys and didn't click away by some of the things that I said already. But in case you didn't, this is the same Kanye West who's all holier than thou and religious. Yo, yo. You know. Same nigga, you know, say so he sell, sold the soul to the devil. I sold my soul to the devil. It was a crappy deal, but at least it came with a few toys like a Happy Meal bars. But <laughs> my nigga, that's nothing to play with. It's a wrap for you, my nigga. That's wild. All that bro. shit you saying don't mean shit at this point. That's wild, Mister Holier Than Thou. This is all a game, y'all. Don't get it twisted. Social media is trying to pollute minds, and this whole entire interview was one big old goddamn setup. 
take this and don't do shit with it. Forget about it already. Matter of fact, you don't even got to subscribe 